it until you've completed 10 reps per leg. Inverted push-up. Targeting the shoulders now, we move into the inverted push-up. Place your feet on a chair and your hands in front of you, shoulder width apart. Without moving your feet, creep your hands backwards until your body is bent almost 90 degrees and your head is facing the floor. Press up until your arms are straight. You should now look like an inverted V. Taking a breath and holding it to steady your torso, slowly lower your head toward the floor until your arms are bent almost 90 degrees. You want to feel the tension in your shoulders, not your arms. At the bottom, push steadily back toward the start position and continue into reps, maintaining the inverted V-shape of your body. Push-up. For the chest, shoulders, and arms, we turn to that old workhorse, the push-up. But let's get our technique perfect to make the most of it. Place your hands a little wider than your shoulders and put your toes on the floor, feet and legs together, and raise yourself into an arms extended position. Taking a breath and holding it, slowly lower yourself until your chest just touches the floor. Then, without jerking or bouncing off the floor, smoothly raise yourself back up into a full arm extension. Then you can exhale. Keep the tension in your chest and arm muscles steady and consistent and make sure your back and knees stay straight. With stiff torso and concentrating the tension in your arms, Close grip push-up. To focus on the triceps, we slide our hands in side by side so that our thumbs and index fingers form a triangle beneath your chest. Take a breath and hold it to stabilize your torso. As you descend, your elbows will point outward. Once your chest comes in light contact with the backs of your hands, Slowly and with strict control, raise yourself back to full arm extension where you can exhale. A couple of notes. Again, keep your back and knees straight, which will keep the work concentrated on your triceps. Also, avoid bouncing or pistoning back up once you hit the bottom position. One smooth, controlled motion, maintaining maximum tension in the muscles throughout the set is your goal. This one is tougher than it looks. Lying torso raise. Your lower back muscles are key to supporting your spine and balancing the incredible abs you're going to develop with the system. It also helps prevent injury as time goes on. To build up the lower back, lie face down on the floor and place your hands loosely behind your neck. Inhale and hold the breath, then slowly raise your upper body until your chest is a few inches off the floor. No need to overdo this movement. You don't want to strain your back. What you're looking for is a nice feeling of contraction in your lumbar spine and your back muscles as you raise up. Hold this top position for a two second count, then slowly return to the start position under control again. Avoid bouncing or jerking during the transition between going up and going down on your individual reps. Weightless concentration curl. Now let's go after your biceps. Standing, grasp your left wrist with your right hand. Apply pressure with the hand as you slowly and deliberately curl your left arm. Once your elbow is fully bent and your bicep is fully contracted, give your biceps an extra squeeze and hold that position for a second or two before lowering. Complete all 10 reps for one side before switching arms which keeps the tension focused and the muscle longer. The key to this exercise is to concentrate the mind on keeping your working biceps muscle fully engaged throughout each set and applying some genuinely challenging pressure with the non-working hand. The Crunch 
This exercise will work both your upper and lower abs if you maintain strict technique. Lie face up, keep your knees bent, and your feet on the floor. Keep your hands loosely behind your head to avoid the pitfall of pulling on your head as you get fatigued. Inhale, hold it, then curl your torso slowly as you bring your shoulder blades up a few inches, only a few inches, and squeeze your abs and then slowly return to the start position. To keep tension focused on your abs, thereby maximizing the impact of this exercise, don't spend more than a second in the down position. Remember, the longer your shoulder blades are off the floor, the more work your abs will have to do. It's amazing how much you can accomplish with two simple tools, a barbell and a workout bench. This is how every great bodybuilder got started in their basement. In 20 minutes, you can move through a carefully balanced mix of compound and high-powered single joint moves that will both tax every single one of your major body parts and give you the maximum bang for your buck per minute. This routine will pump up your metabolism and provide an excellent segue if you want to then move on to a regular three or four day body part split routine in the future. We're going to do our reps with what is known as the Weeder Descending Set Principle, where we decrease the amount of weight used each set. That means you will do your first set with a challenging weight on the bar. You have to calculate that yourself. Here's how. What's the most you can do one rep with? Try each exercise, then identify 65 to 75 percent of that number. If you can deadlift one struggling rep, but with good form of 160 pounds, do your first drop set at 120 pounds for 10 reps. Then you drop 20 percent of that weight for your second set to say 90 pounds and do your second set. Because we're really going to work your muscles and your heart here, Take your warm-up and stretching as seriously as ever. Here we go. Deadlift. Position your feet solidly, shoulder-width apart, toes pointed straight ahead, and a barbell set in front of you. 